Good evening, Mineola. Um, not quite sure what happened there. It was taking me a minute to get on. So I just wanted to bring back a little bit of community prayer time. Um, and so Wednesday evenings, usually I'll be just finishing up um, confirmation and in my car, but tonight I'm still in my isolation for um, my 10 days because I'm still testing positive for COVID. So um, I'm just in my bedroom and wanted to take a minute to just be together and pray together. So one of the things that I'm going to be doing is just literally lighting, um, turning on a little candle, um, just as a place to kind of center myself and to begin with a bit of a breath prayer to breathe in. We are many to breathe out. We are one. And again, we are many, we are one. And one more time, in we are many and out, we are one. Our God brings us together and connects us. The spirit, the breath of God connects us day in and day out across time and space. Let us just take a moment together to feel that connection. We are many. We are one. We are many. We are one. Beautiful creator, we come to you in the stillness and the darkness of the night. <sighs> to breathe your breath for ourselves and with each other. In this moment, I invite you to name the names to say it out loud, the people that you are holding this week in prayer, for whatever reason. Who are you holding? Say their names. We breathe in, we are many, and out, we are one. In Christ Jesus, we are one. The breath of God, the Spirit pulls us back to each other and to Christ, to that body that we are privileged to be a part of each and every day. So with that, let us pray. God of the hurting ones, thank you for the loving people you have brought into our lives who give us comfort, the people who give us strength in our times of pain and sorrow, grief and suffering. We want to thank you for the many teachers of compassion, the saints that swirl around us, for what we have learned from all of them. We know we are many and we know we are one in you. We long to be more compassionate, a more compassionate person, a more compassionate community, so that our life individually and our life together will truly reflect you. 
this night. We ask that you revive and you renew our gift of compassion. Your gift of compassion in our lives. Amen. I'm going to try and remember to end these with an intention that please, please feel free to modify, but just an intention to take with you through the next day or the next couple of days. And so together, let us set the intention to live our day with a soft, and compassionate heart. Amen. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening.